welcome back to my channel and this is a tutorial on how to draw a rose. Starting from the center, we're going to draw a heart shape like this. Now we're going to take the right end of the heart and we're going to draw a curve like this. Make a little dash on the bottom of the heart like this. Now we're going to go back to the curve and then connect this like so, creating another heart. Now we're going to draw a straight horizontal line at, directly at the top. From here, we're going to bring this horizontal line downwards like so, creating another straight line. From this, we're going to draw a triangular shape that extends to a curve like so. Now from this point, draw a line upwards. Going back to the other end, connect this all together. Underneath the heart, leave a little bit of gap and draw a curve like this. Then, we're going to draw another curve like so on one end. Now we will extend this curve to go all the way around and go back to the triangle we first created. From this point we connected to, draw a little triangle like so. Now from the point of this triangle, we're going to draw a similar curve like this. Extend this curve all the way around. Now we're going to close in the space of the heart by creating a vertical line like so. Connecting these two points together. Now from this vertical line, we're going to extend it and then create a curve that touches the tip of the triangle again. From this other tip, we're going to extend another curve downwards and finally connect this back to the vertical line we just created. Now on this curve we just created, we're going to draw one of the petals like so. Keep in mind that rose petals are usually very uneven so there's no need to make this too perfect. Make sure this petal goes all the way around. Leave a gap in between the end of the petal and we're going to draw another petal downwards. This will extend all the way until nearer to the end of the first curve. Now, from our very first petal, we're going to draw a curve like this, extending it downwards, creating another petal like so. Make sure to connect the gap in between. Now from this tip we just created, we're going to extend a line that goes downwards like so. 
now from here we're going to go back to this petal and then draw a curve like so creating the first bed of the rose don't forget to do the same thing on the other side Now, before we start creating more petals, we're going to draw a little bit of a bed on right underneath, creating a solid start for the rest of the petals. Draw this out unevenly like so. Now from here, we're going to draw a curve that goes all the way around, extending this curve, making a triangular shape. From here, I'm going to speed up the video a bit to draw the rest of the petals. But feel free to pause this video anytime or to slow this video down to make it easier while following this tutorial. Now that we have got our outline of the rose complete, it is time to do the shading. First, we're going to point out all the highlights necessary and here we're going to start off from the center. We're going to draw out this heart again starting off with very hard pressure on your pencil creating some dark shadows all the way around gradually you're going to lessen the pressure on your pencil so that way that you can create a gradient from dark shadows to light shadows once you have outlined this whole heart we're going to slowly bring the shadows from dark to light and we're gonna start slowly doing this all the way up until the middle point shade the heart out like so while shading make sure you do soft swirls like this in order to not create any harsh marks we're going to start off by shading in the rest of the darker shadows Again, we're going to outline these petals first with very hard pressure on our pencil, gradually creating a gradient by lessening the pressure onto our pencil. Remember, more pressure will create darker shadows and less pressure will create lighter shadows. Make sure to continue doing your soft swirls and make sure that you go all the way around like this. Continue to outline the petals where it's the darkest as well as continue to draw the gradients out like so. Now here we're going to use a rubber and we're going to rub out certain tinier areas of the petals this is where we can start to create our highlights. Highlights help to enhance the darker shadows as well as give more 3D image towards the subject matter which is our rose here. Now from here on out we're going to do the same thing all around the rose doing this on every single petal we need. Remember to first outline the petals, then create a gradient and then rub out any highlights that are necessary. Here I'm going to speed up this video but feel free to slow this video down to follow the tutorial more easily. Remember to create more swirly patterns while you shade so you don't leave any rough marks. And 
here is our completed drawing. Thank you for watching, subscribe and like for more videos and tutorials and I'll see you next time.